kiddos! Happy Wednesday and welcome back to our read aloud time. Yesterday we looked at the different letters that are in this story the day the crayons came home and we talked about the different greetings that they used. Today we're going to talk about the next part of the letter. Who can tell me what the next part of the letter is? Excellent! It's the body! So today we are going to look at different letters in the bodies of those letters that the crayons had wrote. We're going to start off today with glow in the dark crayon. Now, when I read this letter, I want you to be thinking about a few things. One, how does the crayon feel? And two, is he telling information or is he just sharing a story? Let's dive right on in. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Now, in this letter, how is glow in the dark crayon feeling? I agree, he sounds pretty scared. He sounds like he's scared of the drawings he made. And how, what words tell you that he's scared? Well, he does say, please come and get me. Ooh, that is one way to tell that he's scared. Then right after he goes, I'm kind of terribly horrified. That's another way to tell that he's scared. So we know how glow in the dark crayon is feeling. With the rest of the letter, how is he telling us a story or what is he saying? He's trying to tell Duncan to come and get him. He's trying to get Duncan's attention. He does it by telling a story at the beginning by saying, hey, remember last Halloween? He's reminding him of something. And then he's telling him to come and get him. Excellent. So that is just the body of glow in the dark crayons letter. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this one. This is gold crayon. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Now how is Gold Crayon feeling in this letter? Yeah, he's feeling pretty sad and I would even say pretty frustrated because he's reminding Duncan that Duncan didn't listen to him and now he can't even be used. Why can't he be used? Well, if you read here, it says, I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. It sounds like he got stuck in a pencil sharpener or a crayon sharpener. And if it doesn't work, do you think Duncan can still use him right now? No. So it sounds like Gold Crayon is trying to tell Duncan how frustrated he is in this letter. So he's trying to remind Duncan of a memory coloring that they had together 
and he's trying to tell Duncan that he can't be used anymore and how sad he is. Excellent work. Let's keep going. Let's look at this one. This is from Turquoise Crayon. Hi, Duncan. You, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock? A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, sucky, on the head, buddy. Turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Now, let's look at this letter. How is Turquoise Crayon feeling? Well, he sounds like he just wants Duncan to come and get him. He's just bringing up a question and he's telling Duncan new information. He's telling Duncan where he is. He is with Sock and they're stuck together. So in this letter, in this body, all Turquoise Crayon is doing is he's just giving new information as well as asking for Duncan to come get him. All right, now when you think about your letters and your writing and reading, think about whether you want to ask questions, whether you want to talk about a story, or whether you just want to give new information. It's up to you. Also, as you continue to read this week, think about how your characters are feeling. Each of these crayons have had different emotions. One's been sad, one's been scared, one's upset, and another one is calm, just telling new information. How do your characters feel in their stories? Pay close attention to words that would tell us how they feel. All right, good luck on your reading, friends. It is your turn to go read, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day.